they want me to move to that tent. I've already moved out a lot of my stuff, but I don't want to move out the rest of it yet because it is like 120 degrees outside and it's so hot. So I'm sitting inside the tent in the air condition until it gets darker and then I will go and finish moving the rest of my stuff. In the meantime, I'm looking at stuff on the internet about graduate school. I'm trying to figure out what I want to get my master's in or what I, how I want to further my education. So, right now I'm looking at communications. I'm just reading up on it now. I don't actually know if this is what I'm going to do, but this is just what I'm looking at for right now. I'm just researching. couple things left to get. Oh, it's still just so hot outside. It feels like I think about a hundred. I'd have to check the temperature. Okay, so we're sitting here doing our leave paperwork because after we get back home one of these days, we're gonna go to Cancun and then we're gonna go to California. to leave because he had to go take care of one of his soldiers we're gonna get together here in a little bit whenever he's done with that but finished doing the paperwork that I needed to do and so I thought that I would take this time just to kind of talk to the camera something I feel like I haven't done in a while I am actually making this vlog because someone commented on one of my last videos saying hey like we're legitimately uh, concern like are you okay you haven't updated in a while and I, oh well, I guess that's like legitimate concern like I'm deployed and then I haven't updated in like a month yeah, people are probably like wondering what happened to me. No worries, I'm good. I will be heading back to the States soon. I can't really say what date exactly on camera, but I'm so excited. I am so excited to go back to America. I'm really thankful that I was able to deploy and do my time in here, um, but I'm very much ready to go back home. I've never been so excited to go back to Kansas of all places. So with that being said, I thought this was a really good opportunity to talk about things that I am thankful for. Uh, having been here, I've taken a lot of things in America for granted. And you don't really realize that when you're um, in the States or you're living wherever you live, not even just in America or any anywhere, but certain things to take for granted. I just wanted to list a couple things that I'm just so excited for and that I'm so thankful for in America because I want to look back on this experience and remember to not take certain things for granted. Number one, the air condition. Um, here, like today was 120 plus degrees. So miserable outside, scalding, and the air condition in these buildings are not the most reliable. Uh, very many times I've come back to my tent and it is just scalding hot because the air condition is broken. Number two, not having to drink out of bottled water. Um, bottled water is great. Uh, it's very convenient, but at the same time, it's even more convenient when you get to drink out of your actual kitchen sink. Or from a fridge. Just having a glass of cold water. I really miss having a nice glass of cold water. Eating with silverware. You don't really think about that. It's like one of those little things, but you feel like a refined human being when you eat with actual silverware. I haven't eaten with real silverware in a while. It's been mostly just plastic forks and spoons, and I am so excited to eat with real silverware. What is this? Three? Four? Next one, driving. I miss driving. I have not driven in a car in so long because here I have to walk everywhere. So I like go on rides with people, but I haven't been able to actually drive anything because uh, here you have to have a different kind of license and I don't have that license. So that sucks. Um, I really miss driving and walking here, especially when it's so hot, it's so miserable. To be in a car again with air conditioning, I'm so excited. Next one, having available access to the internet all the time. I never really been somewhere where sometimes the internet just goes down and it just goes down and it goes down for days. So here, like we're working and the internet goes down and everything's like, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> like you can't work. So uh, that's also really frustrating, especially on your off time, not even when you're working, but 
when you're in your tent and you know like hey like I really want to get on the internet get on Facebook and it doesn't work and you really just feel like you've lost that connection to someplace other than here last one because I don't want to go on and on and on about what I'm thankful for because I can get actually kind of boring but Last thing I'm really thankful for is privacy. I am so excited to go back and have privacy. Since I've been here, I don't have my own room. No one has their own room, really. Uh, except if like, like super high ranking, then you probably have your own room, I'm assuming. But, you know, people like us, we don't have our own rooms. Um, and especially now, in the past month or so, when I've been living with uh, just a tent full of other women, like right now, that new tent I just moved into has about 50 other girls in it. And there's nothing wrong with that, but there's just no privacy. You don't have privacy when you go to sleep. You don't have privacy when you're taking a shower. You don't have privacy when you're going anywhere. They're, you're always surrounded by people. And I never really realized that I was such a like a privacy person until I honestly started living by myself. When I moved to Kansas, that was the first time I ever lived by myself. And I lived there about three weeks before I deployed out here. And I loved it. I loved having my privacy. I, I'm such a social animal, don't get me wrong. I'm a social butterfly, I love talking to people, but I, I, I loved being by myself at the end of the day. Like I could leave people when I was done talking to them and come back to my place and relax. And I have not been able to do that in a really long time. So I am so thankful for privacy and I am really excited to have that once we get back. I'm done in the office for now. We're gonna go grab dinner. Uh, and then we're gonna catch bingo night. This is one of the last free nights we have before we go back to the stay, so it's really exciting. And one thing that they always have here is bingo to kind of help boost up morale for the soldiers that are away from home. So that's really exciting. So our last time we're gonna be doing bingo night and then we get to go home. I'll be using this to help with my scar. Thank you. I you feel about that one. Six to six. Got it? Ready? <laughs> Thank you. Ew, doesn't look very good. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Yes, you have a lot of energy right now. <laughs> I don't know where you got it from. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, where is it? Oh. Alright, how's it, how's it going? Doug, you come over. You win? I just stood up and then they called me. Oh. Did they play beats first? That's Charles <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> oh, someone played that song. Yes, honey, you look great. Yay, Nate. Maybe. And you're playing for a Logitech speaker system. I'm like behind the power curve this Hold on! Oh, oh man! Sarah Jane. Yes. The goal of bingo is to play bingo so your boyfriend can win presents. Okay? So you have to play the game. I am playing. You have to play. You're just bitter because you still haven't won yet. You know I can't see. That's your first statement.